What is going on guys? Welcome back to DS Asylum. I am your warden Dimitri Shrine and today it's time to kill Sun Family. They've been buffing the hell out of this tag with nothing but Zenkai units for the past like three months. And you know what? I think it's time for this team to die. All right, this team's too good. It's time to release one unit that will single-handedly wipe out the entire Sun Family tag. All right, it's the green Chi Chi, right? I... <laughs> If, if there's a unit that's going to kill Sun Family, it's going to be Chi-Chi, which is ironic because she's married to Goku. Well, I mean, this specific iteration hasn't yet been married. She's from the tournament where they got married. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Chi-Chi should have the Sun Family tag, but for this specific uh, Zenkai video... It's a great thing she doesn't. But if you don't know how the Zenkai concepts work, first we go over their Zenkai 1 800% stats, then we go over the Zenkai Arts cards, then the Zenkai 1 abilities, that being the main ability and the first two uniques, then we go after or go over the Zenkai 3 and 6 abilities, then we go over the uh, Zenkai ability, the, what she's buffing with the Zenkai ability, then the Zenkai 7 1400% stats, and then we go over a, a new equipment designed specifically for them all stats will be looked at at 14 stars so that you can see the maximum potential of the unit so without further ado let's hop right in to the green chi chi 14 stars zenkai won 800 stats we got 2.4 million health 251,000 strike attack 254,000 blast attack 152,000 strike defense 156,000 blast defense 4.7k on the critical and 2.5 on the key restore speed i know she's a melee type and she has more blast than strike but that's how it actually is in the game, as you see on uh, the left side of your screen. She actually just has more blast attack than strike attack. And a lot of her existing abilities buff her blast attack and not her strike attack. And yet she's labeled a melee unit. I don't know either. But uh, standard, standard Zenkai buff. It's higher than the last two units I've done, which have been uh, Krillin and Pan, because they've gone the more support route, so I felt the need to not break their stats. But uh, Chi-Chi ain't, ain't supporting a goddamn person, so, <laughs> except herself. So she gets the benefits of the uh, normal high Zenkai 1 stat boost. But jumping right over to the Zenkai Arts cards, the Strike uh, card remains normal. The Blast card remains the same as it is. 50% chance to cause Heavy Bleed on hit. I always forget if it's Heavy Bleed or Strong Bleed. I don't know. It's the same thing, though. The Green card, plus 25% to Strike Damage inflicted for 20 timer counts, and inflicts Forest Switch. Yeah, that's what happens when you, when you use text-to-speech instead of just typing it yourself. Forced Switch on hit. If enemy is tagged Sun Family, inflicts attribute downgrade plus 5 to substitution count for 15 time accounts and reduce their key by 30. So, the reducing of the key happens whether they're a Sun Family unit or not. I know I uh, ordered that in a way that would make it seem like the key reduction is only if they're a Sun Family unit. But no, it's just uh, if they're a Sun Family unit, it's just a sub count that gets added. They get reduced key anyway. So a few things have changed. I've upped the strike damage and uh, I've given the reduced key, but other than that, haven't actually changed too much about the green card. So the super deals major impact damage. Afflict enemy with attribute downgrade plus 20 or plus 15% to damage received for 20 timer counts. I don't think I changed anything there actually. Uh, actually. If I did, I think it was uh, it was 15 timer counts before and now it's 20. I actually don't know because <laughs> I don't remember actually really changing anything about that. The ultimate deals massive slice damage. I believe before it was major, so now it's dealing massive. Uh, plus 40% to ultimate damage upon activation, 100% chance to cause heavy or strong bleed, and 20% chance to inflict faint on hit. Look, if you, if you look at that damn ultimate, it looks like something that would faint you, okay? Don't come after me. I only gave her 20%, all right? It's not like I gave her 30, which any unit with, 30, with a 30% chance, it's not a 30% chance to faint. It's a 30% chance not to faint because I swear to God, that Zenkai Broly super, they, they, there's a typo in it. That thing's not 30% chance to faint. It's 30% chance not to faint. So I only gave her 20, all right? Calm down. Calm down. You'll rarely ever see that faint, okay? Chill. 
<laughs> but moving on to the Zenkai 1 abilities, main ability first up, draw the ultimate arts next, restore key by 40, nullify unfavorable element factor for 45 timer counts, and gain buff, nullify, attribute downgrade, and abnormal conditions 4 times. So, previously, she uh, nullified uh, element factor for 30 counts, I'm giving her an extra 15 because... Uh, She's designed to kill Sun Family, and one of the core Sun Family units right now is a Zenkai Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So she's gonna have to deal with that. She, she's definitely gonna have to deal with that. So that's why she gets that. And in terms of why I gave her the uh, attribute buffs, honestly, I just needed something to fill her main ability without just giving her a ridiculous amount of damage. I, I, t I tend to just give units damage buffs with their main abilities and I felt, eh, let's be different. So moving on to unique number one, restore key uh, by 50 when this character enters the battlefield. The following effects occur if tag girls other than this character is a battle member. Plus 30% to key recovery cannot be cancelled. Plus 20% to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. I changed nothing about that except uh, instead of only lasting for like 15 counts, they now are cannot be cancelled buffs. They will just last as long as she's on the battlefield. That's it. I didn't need to buff that in any way aside from the timer count thing because what the hell did you what the hell do you want me to do? You want me to give her 80 key on switching? Is that what you want me to do? You want me to give her 80 key on switching? No. No. She's that 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 ability is fine. That's actually a crazy ability even today. Unique number two, plus 80% of damage, uh and reduce damage by 40% against Tag Sun Family. So she's going to be doing 80% damage, which was already a thing. Her normal ability is 80% to damage against Sun Family. But I also added the EX Chi Chi's ability of the 40% reduced damage against Sun Family. So yeah, she's. I, I'm telling you, this woman is specifically designed to kill Sun Family. If it has the Sun Family tag, it dies. That's the way this unit is built, all right? Moving on over to the Zenkai 3 and 6 abilities. Unique number 3, draw a strike card next when this character enters the battlefield. If, su if Tag Sun Family is the enemy, full hand is restored. So that means if you just come into the battlefield, she draws a strike card next. However, if you enter the battlefield and you're in front of someone with the Sun Family tag, your entire hand is refilled. Again, I am murdering this team. It needs to die. I don't care. This team needs to die. <laughs> Plus 15% to damage inflicted every time this character uses a strike card. Yup. That's actually a little, that's a little bit less than what uh, Zenkai 18 gets. She gets 20%. So she's not as broken. <laughs> Unique number four, the following effects occur per defeated battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Plus 20% to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. Plus 30% to key recovery cannot be cancelled. Restore health by 10% activates twice, meaning she will recover 20% of her health uh, if you switch her in when someone goes down. Uh, yeah, I gave, her la I gave her last man standing buffs because, again, this woman is designed to kill Sun Family. Okay? LF Gohan, LF Namek Goku, Zenkai, or Zenkai LF Gohan, Zenkai LF Namek Goku, Zenkai Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Zenkai Kid Goku, <laughs> all dead, all of them. She's got ridiculous buffs against them, and she's got last man standing, last woman standing, I guess. I, I broke this unit on purpose, okay? <laughs> I had to. I want this tag dead. It needs to be gone. I don't think there's anyone in the world that enjoys fighting this team. And I don't think anyone's going to be upset with me for releasing a unit specifically designed to murder that entire tag. Because it's ridiculous. Her Zenkai 7 ability, green girls, obviously. Same uh, Zenkai buff. I know, Zenkai Kefla. But you know what? Kefla has 20% strike damage, uncancelable, against Goku units. So you know what? I say bring on the Zenkai Kefla. She can help kill the Sun Family team. Alright? <laughs> green, green, yellow, Chi Chi, Kefla, and 18. Come at me, Sun Family. I dare you. <laughs> 
Oh boy, <laughs> let's just go right on over to the 14 star Zenkai 7, 1400% stats, 2.7 million on the health, 283,000 strike attack, 287,000 blast attack, 186,000 strike defense, 189,000 blast defense, 4.7 on the critical, 2.5 on the key restore speed. So she doesn't have the highest um, stats in the world, but I think her stats are, are actually better than the Zenkai 18, which is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being completely honest with you, that's kind of dumb. But I still don't think she's as broken as 18 because her two really big buffs, restoring your whole hand when you enter the battlefield, and that ridiculous 80% damage buff only apply to tag Sun Family units. So if you're in front of a Sun Family unit, she's probably the best unit in the entire game. In fact, against Sun Family, she might be in a completely different tier. I might have made a unit better than LF Gohan. However, she's a situational unit. When she's not against a Sun Family unit, she's not. She's nowhere near as good as 18, truth be told. But when she is against a Sun Family unit, she outclasses 18. And that was the point. I hate Sun Family. I hate every unit on that goddamn team and again i don't think anyone is going to have a problem with me burying this team 16,000 feet into the ground if you do have a problem with it learn how to play the game without five lf units or not five lf units five zenkai units only two lf units but five zenkai units because jesus christ <laughs> Who am, who am I talking though? I'm literally trying to get a full Zenkai Android team. But the difference is, Sun Family is good without Zenkais. Androids is not. <laughs> oh boy. Let's take a look at the new equipment real quick and then we'll recap everything. So we got 20% to strike damage, 15% to key recovery, 18% to special move damage, and 15% to ultimate damage. Those are the max values of this new equipment and it is for Dragon Ball Saga's girls. So... It will be used for units pretty much only Chi Chi, Bulma, and when we eventually get a launch unit, uh, you can use it on her as well. And if we ever get like a Dragon Ball Mai, uh, it, the, that unit will also be allowed to have this equipment. So it's very limited equipment, not many units can use it, uh, but that's why I tried to make it like really good, something you would really want to use. And buffing the Bulmas is actually pretty good because Bulma, I, I've already Zenkai'd uh, the, have I Zenkai'd the blue Bulma? I think I Zenkai'd the blue Bulma. <laughs> pretty sure I did. <laughs> but um, if you managed to get these two Zenkai's, Chi Chi and Bulma, and they were both running this equip, granted that Bulma definitely has more blast attack than strike attack, but I mean, either way, I mean, they both have supers, they both have ultimates, and they both like to have key, so it still works. <laughs> but there was a reason why I didn't just give it the Dragon Ball Sagas, because if I did, then that means Kid Goku could use it, and I'm not having that. Kid Goku is cancer, and I refuse to give him anything that will make him even better than he already is. I don't care if he's free, they should not have made him as good as he is. <laughs> Free-to-play players can suffer if that is the alternative. I'm sorry. <laughs> if that's the alternative, we can, free to, us free-to-play players can sit here and suffer. I don't care. Come at me. But <laughs> that is the Zenkai Chi-Chi uh, concept. Again, for the 10 millionth time, she is specifically designed to kill Sun Family. That was her initial purpose when she came out anyway. When she came out, Sun Family was one of the best teams in the game. She came out, she murdered the Sun Family tag, and now we kind of need her to do it again. There's just there's no two ways about it. We need this Zenkai Chi Chi, and we need her soon. Like, she needs to be the next Zenkai. So Bandai, I know you bastards watch my videos. You've copyrighted me for using footage of your own game in my videos multiple times. So I know you watch my videos because only someone who works for the company can do that. 
Zenkai this Chi-Chi and Zenkai her at least close to the way that I did it because if you Zenkai her and she is not specifically designed to kill Sun Family, she will not do well because Sun Family will murder it. She's green. <laughs> She has to have some sort of reduced damage against Sun Family units because they all do so much damage. Even with the type uh, nullification for Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Gohan and Namek Goku just do so much ridiculous damage that it won't matter. Namek Goku's got type disadvantage against her, and he, as a last man standing, he could probably still one combo her with the stats I gave her. So. She doesn't have any actual reduced damage in her kit aside from the reduced damage she gets against Sun Family units. So you have to rely solely on her defensive stats, which isn't really all that great. So she needs to be Zenkai'd in a way that gives her a specific purpose. She's not overly broken without a Sun Family unit in front of you. That was the point. Because once she's done her job of murdering Sun Family, I can't just have this, you know, beyond Z tier unit running around. That's why her more broken abilities are tailored to the Sun Family tag. Not only was that her purpose, not only is she the anti-Sun Family units, but if I just had those buffs existing, she'd be the best unit, unit in the game. Without question, she'd be better than LF Gohan. And I completely refuse. I'd, I, I would rather jump off the roof of my house than make a unit that's even half as good as LF Gohan without there being some sort of stipulation for that uh, ridiculous buffs. But if you enjoyed this video and agreed with my Zenkai concept, do make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can. It really does help out the channel. Social media is in the description below. Tell me what you guys would have changed or who you guys want me to do next. And uh, we'll get out of here. I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.